hey, let's talk about the advanced version of Let It Ride. So if you saw the basic version of Let It Ride video, we ended up here where we made a simple program for our main method that basically said, keep playing rounds until you've lost. And in the play round, we said, go get your two numbers and check to see if uh, you should win or lose. Now the advanced version of Let It Ride actually implements this ride portion. And what a ride is, is when I say I'm gonna pick my number that I'm guessing, suppose it's seven, but I'm also gonna choose how many times I want to check it. So really what we're saying is this thing play round, I just wanna do a number of times in a row without picking my number each time. So we don't need to totally start from scratch. We can actually just kind of modify this program a little bit. So one of the first modifications I'd say is, well, the round pretty much operates the same way except we might play multiple rounds without changing my number. So perhaps one of the first things I should do is take this line of code out of here and just assume when I'm playing around that the player number has already been determined. So what that does is it kind of brings that part of the task up a level. Now another thing that's probably gonna change is, you know, while I haven't lost, I'm gonna play around, not really, while I have a loss, I'm going to play Let It Ride. And Let It Ride is going to have rounds within it. So I'm making a change at two ends of the program. Instead of saying, play around here, I'm going to instead say, uh, Let It Ride. And we're going to have a new method definition that I'll put over here. So you can just imagine that this is further down in the program, but I ran out of board space over there. So we have public static, and again, since this is still returning a false, or a true, it's return boolean, I've already determined my return type, boolean, uh, let it ride, I gotta make sure I don't go off the screen on you now, and then I gotta write my code here that's gonna explain what to do. So again, before writing code, let's think this out. Every time I wanna let it ride, I need to know a number, and then I also need to know how many times to let it ride. And then I'm going to play around that many times. But there's the potential that a round can fail. And if a round fails, I'm done letting it ride. But then if I get through all of my rounds, I get a bonus. All right. A couple distinct steps in there. I need to get my number. Number and the number of rides. Then I need to uh, play the round. Uh, until I win or lose. And then if I win, I win, I get a let it ride bonus. The bonus. All right, so let's start with the simple thing, getting the number of the number of rides. So first things first, int uh, p num equals, and again, I'll let that be something you figure out, some method that gets an integer from the user. Not too, not too difficult. The second part, how many rides am I going to do? Int, so num rides equals, blah, 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 blah. again, get that number. So I have them, and now i got to keep playing rounds until I win or lose. Now, remember before I said, if you see that word until, it means while loop almost all the time. But sometimes we just throw that word in there and there's actually a more appropriate loop. So right here, I'm getting a set number of rides. I know how many times I need to play around. There's a chance I'm gonna leave early and we'll talk about how that's gonna work, uh, but I don't necessarily need to just say, keep doing it indefinitely. So rather than use a while loop here, I think this calls for a for loop. So what I'm gonna do is say for int i equals zero, uh, i is less than the num rides, and i plus plus, and what we're going to do is say, uh, play around. Although we know that now when I play around, I need to give it a parameter. So up here I got the player num, I'm going to stick it in as a parameter. So this is the actual parameter. This is the formal parameter. Formal parameter saying I need one. Actual parameter saying here it is, it has a value. 
So I'm going to play that round. Now, here's the issue. Suppose uh, I guess a, uh, a nine and the first layer of the let it ride, the first round of the let it ride, the computer guesses four. I lose. I shouldn't let it ride anymore. But remember the way we design our program, play round returns uh, true if we lost. So if I lose, this gives me a true. So what I could do is say, hey, if play round returns true, I'm done. I'm finished. I lost. So if that's the case, I can say in here, return true. Now, this return is returning from this method. So even though I'm in the middle of the loop, I'm going to get out of here. This is akin to a break statement, which you're not allowed to use. Break statements are banned forever for everybody. Uh, because a break statement is an easy way to get out of a loop when you didn't assign your conditions really well. A return statement, though, is saying, I have done what this method was intended to do, so I can stop. Suppose this method didn't have a return type. What I would then do is change my condition up here to say, not only is I less than number rise, but I also have to be and I have not lost. Uh, so what that would do is allow me to say, hey, if I lost, just stop. So this plays rounds until I win or lose. It looks like that works. Now, what does it mean if I get through this for loop? It means that I've played all my rounds and I never returned. So if this line is saying I lost, return true, I lost, then not returning means I won. I got through the whole to let it ride. So while loops and for loops provide two really useful tools, they allow us to repeat something a number of times, but they also act just like a normal if statement. As soon as we get past a, a loop, we know that the condition is no longer true. So it's no longer true that I is less than number rides. That means I've done all of my rides. So in that case, I get my bonus. And uh, for my bonus and let it ride, which I'm reading tonight now, uh, they get a extra bonus of their number guessed times the number of rounds that they did it. So in that case, the number guessed was P num. The number of rounds I did it was num rides. So P num times num rides is my guess, the number of times that I did it, and my score should be increased by that much. Now, from first place, I think that does it. That looks like our advanced Let It Ride game. So, uh, I hope this video was helpful. Have fun letting it ride. Bye now.